Hi there, everybody. Meteorologist Nolan Morello with you here on iFiber One News. Your forecast overnight tonight into Friday brought to you by Bud Cleary Toyota dealer. Toyota, let's go places. Well, you're going to have to find a place to get rather cool because the outside temperatures are going to be excessively hot as we go through the next several days. We'll be in the 90s in the next couple days and then in the hundreds by the time we hit the work week. The coolest day of the next seven days will be on our upcoming Friday. Tomorrow, mid to high 90s for the weekend, lower 100s as I mentioned. So again, watch out if you're out and about, uh, especially watch your elderly friends, check in on them. You know, wanted to make sure that they're okay through this upcoming heat wave that is coming our way that we've been forecasting for much of the week. Well, for today, boy, it started cloudy, dreary, some showers in the area, but then things brightened up during the afternoon hours, 82. And 55, the extremes, 300 of precipitation in the water bucket today, basically during the morning hours, 83, 56, the extremes normally. And so right about where we should be this time of the year. The temperature in Moses Lake got a little higher, so a little bit more sun earlier in the day, but still looking at pretty seasonal temperatures. Look at the records, 101 set back in 2008. Looks like we have a good chance to hit these kind of temperatures as we slide into the work week next week. Now, currently outside, Sitting at the actual high right now, 82, partly cloudy skies have developed, as I mentioned, so dry air trying to come on in. And that'll be the menu for the next couple of days with the dry air taking control and the heat from the Intermountain West surging northward. So you can see the satellite picture showed the clouds earlier in the day, even some sprinkles, especially during the morning hours. But then since then, we've been seeing drier conditions take place. As we slide through the overnight hours tonight, you see that we are looking for some clearing. There might be some pop-up showers during the day on Friday, but generally to our north and west as everything moves up into British Columbia. But generally we're looking for a fairly decent Friday coming our way, getting on the hot side, as I mentioned, into the 90s, but that'll be the coolest day of the next couple of days, if not the next week. And again, you're seeing possibility of the heat of the afternoon kicking off a storm or two, but generally not much in relief of any sort of cooling showers around the area through the weekend. Specifically for the state, again, west of the Cascades, still a little cool, maybe some clouds hugging the Puget Sound area into British Columbia, but things are drying out and clearing out for the most part. Looking for the inland northwest, the upper 80s to near 90 degrees, and as we zoom into Columbia Basin, we are going to be in the 90s. Look at these temperatures. 95 in Wilson Creek, very, very hot. And you can see temperatures again in the lower 90s. So heat wave starts tomorrow, get out of your way, you can see the heat really taking control with over 100 for much of the week next week. Again, your forecast brought to you by Bud Cleary, Toyota dealer. Toyota, let's go places.